The humanitarian crisis in Sri Lanka is worsening following acute shortages of daily necessities, including food, fuel, and cooking gas, as the country's economy is seeing a massive downturn and soaring inflation. The country witnessed violent protests that forced the president to resign, and a new administration took office in August, but despite this, Sri Lanka's economic crisis has forced 70% of its families to skip meals or reduce meal size. According to a report published by the United Nations, one in four Sri Lankans is facing food insecurity, with children the hardest hit as school dropout rate has increased and underage population entered the workforce. As a relief measure, the government resorts to tourism to alleviate the grim economic outlook. They're taking their children out of school and getting them to work as well, just to nourish themselves and provide their daily essentials. So it's just by providing the meal as an incentive for the child to come to school. It has a huge impact in the economy of Sri Lanka, and like I said, it's going to make money when you bring the tourists in and when they spend. We don't have to wait for months to recover. It's instant recovery. That's why we need to get the numbers.